You know the good die young Numb in my face, I woke up to the sun Calling my name, she want me on her tongue I cannot stay, I know you're not the one Alright, 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 alright Final Smash Direct before the game comes out This was released, or should I say, it was streamed at 2pm today I have not been able to watch it yet because I've been at school and I've just been packing for my holiday for the weekend. Um, so, my first blind reactions. I have no idea what's going on here. Fingers crossed we get Shadow. All I want is Shadow. Let's go. My G Mega Man. <laughs> Let's go boys. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> That's Ken! That's Ken! Bring it on. I knew it! Well, to be honest, we all knew Ken was coming. Wait, is he an Echo? Or is he unique? Mad. Incinero. Raw. That's mad. Is that Incinero? That's Incinero. Is it? Yeah, Incinor. Oh! He looks so clean. So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? <clears throat> that model is so clean. Okay. It was obvious Incinor was going to be in, but damn. Bro, chill out. That's sick. So they're unique fighters. Huh? They're, yeah, they are new. They are new fighters because they didn't get a, an echo treatment by saying join to the battle. They got their own unique thing. Oh, we're doing it one at a time. Okay. That's clean. That's nice. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Okay, so he is an Echo Fighter. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years. Sorry about that, I had to cut the footage really quickly while I just did something. Right, continuing. But the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku strikes opponents multiple times. How do you even say that? Hell wheel. Focus attack. 
That looks so nice. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jin Raigek. So he's basically a broken Ryu, but with some tweaks. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. Why is that it? It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. <laughs> I love that tone. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after That's a cool. dash and grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful Larry. Oh. Its down special is Revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. There aren't very many at first, but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all... It'll look like this. It may seem hard... So that's everyone. I know I probably sound really ungrateful because we've got everyone here and quite a lot of newcomers still, but is that it? No Shadow or Banjo Kazooie or School Kid. I'm really upset now. I'm really, I actually am devastated because that is, it's not, it's not much bigger than the roster we thought, but. Hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they joined the series. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. No, I won't, because we don't have Shadow. So what are these other 30 minutes about? That looks nice. So what's the other 30 minutes about? Is it the um, the new game mode? That's cool. Is that it? What about everyone else's amiibo? All right. You may recall that we're creating amiibo in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. Huh? That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. Wait. Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. Yeah, everyone called that. And I don't mean the spooky kind. Everyone knew it'd be called spirits. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a chibi robot fighters, powering them up in battle. Okay, so it's not subspace. In the Super Smash Brothers Is it series, not? the characters are toys in the real world, but they are yeah. fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. 
In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. What do you mean? In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Hey! Beloved characters Dr. Wily. Tails, okay. All of them, except the fighters. Bandana Waddle Dee. Well, all just a regular Waddle Dee. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with Knuckles. And all right. Powers. There's a massive amount of wildly Proton spirits. man. Silver silver spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces and some are in a league of their own. Legend. One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely oh, wow. powerful. Holy shit. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Hey, Cappy. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once Tree. the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. The main way to Cranky Kong, all my days. Spirit battles. I've only just noticed that. The fact that Rivali looks so much like Falco. Spirit battles. Maybe some borrowing was going on. You'll find a variety of spirits. How's Amy and S? Choose the one you want to battle. Rouge is in advance. So right. you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. Okay. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. All right. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. That looks so AIDS. That is not fun. Oh, a gutsman, okay. So they just, you know, have a better throwing power. Oh! That's clever how they've made King K rule into that. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, with the color schemes. Oh, okay. I, I get it, because they are hedgehogs. Why drills? I feel like a wisp. A giant rob, okay. Interesting. That bullet bill thing though. Oh no! <laughs> That's mental. Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Okay. Oh! Even if you accidentally hit the shield. The damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's, that's nice. I like that. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield. And shield is strong against attack. Makes sense. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. 
When you okay, so it's basically like Smash Run. No, not like that Smash Party, whatever the, what that, that shit was on the Wii U. It's like on the 3DS one. A bit like it, anyway. Is that Papa John? With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. I'm so disappointed that we don't get to play Shadow. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. Snacks? Some spirits oh, Groudon. Enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. Oh! You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. All right, so they have thought this through then. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. With or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These no, the chaotics. All right. Characters, but each team That's a shitty PNG though. Dream come true. They've just Training taken like random PNGs. They haven't actually remodeled anything. But that's that's fine. That's fine. Game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Character marker. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Of course. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. I'd laugh if Infinite was one. It's one great big collection of characters from many different. Wait, 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 is, that is that a paper, paper Bowser? No, I'm joking. Would you guess there are millions? That's an Onyx. Final, Final Smash, Smash meter. meter. Whenever you fight against the spirit, the Final Smash Meter is enabled. I love like that, that Final, Final Smash, Smash Meter. Spirit even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Bro. That's violent. violent. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. Shadow's still an assist draw for them. While assembling Rip. a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The Enough. game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Ah. Or balance your strengths. Black Shadow, okay. Think carefully when building your team. Okay, yep, yeah, you did us dirty. You did us dirty, Sakurai. You put Black Shadow as a spirit. Right, and everyone's saying that they wanted him as a fighter. Balance well played. Strengths in a two -on -two battle. Big the cat! What's he gonna do? Crush him. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Okay. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered, so you can quickly... Oh, I'll, I'd be on stamina all the time. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using... No items! <laughs> you can also choose not to set any preferred rules, and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will... Wait, 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 does, does all of them... Final destination, no no items. Okay, no. No memes, no memes. And link them up for a battle. Okay. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. 
A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Obviously. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP. You guys watch out for my little Mac and my Sonic then if they remain roughly the same. If I play a beastly little Mac and Sonic. You could face a penalty. Like being disconnected. Okay. So please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter- Not read this shit though, that's freaky. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. Oh. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. That's nice. Freely choose from Let's smash again. <laughs> preset messages. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. <laughs> Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. See, if I'm getting my Switch in this game, I know I have someone to play with then. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to play with. someone who's getting this game in a Switch. If you set the rules for Bro, that moon room, looks freaky. You can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where that dot's hammer skin looks sick. Wait in line, or even spectate. Smitty. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. With the Nintendo Switch <laughs> Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Next, I'd like to change... Really? ...topics and talk a little about the assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. We have Knuckles, we don't need Shadow as well. I wanted him as a playable fighter, Zachary. As did many other people. So it turns out the banner leak was fake, it was a fucking good one though. Do you know which characters come from which games? Yes. Yes I do. You didn't show many of them, did you? I don't know about her. N nanny! <laughs> nanny! I've never heard of Fatal Frame. Nanny! Okay. Ah! I get fucked, internet!
Everyone says he's gonna be a fighter. Is he? Yeah. No, I I couldn't care less about um, Isaac. But I'm assuming this is going to disappoint a lot of people. Here I go. Oh, Black Knight. Okay. We don't need more Titty Emblem characters, or even if they're assist trophies. A Womp from Mario. You mad? Oh, okay. I, don't, I, I call them Womps. I don't know. I know they're called Thwomps, but I think Womp sounds nicer. Alright, that's broken. Springman from Arms. Okay. I would have It would have been nicer if he was an actual character, I think. Oh, Wily. Okay, Mega Man. So it's just, it's like a traditional final Wily battle. Yay, it is as well, he begs. <laughs> that was nice. I like that. I have no idea what that is. Mario Paint. Fucking Mario Paint. Not a clue. Of course, Titty Emblem. Vince. Art Academy. I've never ever played an Art Academy. Hey! hey! That, that remix, remix is, is sick. Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Street Fighter 2. Mm -hmm. Akira? From what? Oh, Virtual Fire. Hopefully when we have DLC, we will get Shadow. Or Crash Bandicoot. Or Sora. Then I'll be happy. Just any of those three, please. Alright, so they're the Squid Sisters. Sorry. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. Okay. Still not a fan of that. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. You better not be hiding something from us. you want to review the controls or game modes. I swear to God, if he's saying that this is the final roster, I swear to God, if he not just surprises and adds more. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. I'm fine. Century Smash. Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen. Indeed. It? You can play on many different stages. And you can choose the music too. Okay, so it's like multi man sm so it's basically a multi man smash. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing all star mode. But now you can play it right out of the box. Oh nice. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. I like it. You can save the replay data of your battles. And now you can create videos with it. Oh, I'll have something to upload. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Yeah, they are quick. I can't even read that shit. You can sort by category or fighter. I like little player icons at the top. Of course. Complete challenges to earn rewards. That looks so much this nicer. Time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. I like that. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Okay. Gold can be exchanged for me. I swear to god, I was always in the shop on Smash 4. Um, you always got trophies from it. I was just going back and back and back because I, I, I still don't have everything. But the fact that you can get these me outfits, that's nice because you've got warrior, the spirits and spirit items. You've got music, which is nice. And that's a Captain Falcon outfit. Music tracks, spirits and items for spirits mode. I like that. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. Yeah, I'll probably do that myself. 
Man, what's that Mega Man tune? You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. You've told us. This one game supports 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. The fighter names are also specific to each language. <laughs> That's cool. I might switch it just to piss around with it. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. 12th of the 7th? Oh, 7th of December, right. I live in the UK, it's different for me. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. Okay. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Okay. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. That's nice. I like that. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Okay. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of that's course, nice. this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. You can customize your Mi fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. Speaking of Mi Fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Yeet. Wah! Wah! Give me a wah! Oh, that's cool. That looks really clean, actually. Holy shit! It's not bad either. I'm gonna buy more of these. I'll also buy this game's DLC this time. Oh, okay. Nice little callback. That's nice. Okay. Wow, the right, shameless self promotion. <laughs> That's some Bruce Lee shit as well. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. Sucker! <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. But there are even more coming post launch. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Brothers series, which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid. Banjo Kazooie Duck Hunt Echo. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch, and we're not talking about Echo fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. That's nice. nice. How much? The price for each set is expected to be five ninety nine. That's, That's decent. decent. It's two, two quid, quid for, for each. At the same time, we will offer the fighters pass. How much? How, How much? Five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. There's, There's only going to be five. five? Fighters Pass content is available as it is released. All sets will be released for the end of February 2020. Fucking hell! When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. I will. <laughs> Again, the price is twenty-four ninety-nine for all five sets. Mm, okay. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get that.
I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. <laughs> Is this camera on? By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the fighter's pass. Oh. It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're it's alright. Some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. So you basically just get Xenoblade. Sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. Yeah, so it's just Xenoblade DLC then. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. But on a separate note. No. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. I recognize that. Wait. Really? <laughs> of all fighting, that's a fighter. How will he move? All right. <laughs> all right then. Really? Banjo Kazooie, you have the license. Shadow the Hedgehog. Why is that not an assist trophy? Why is that a fighter? Okay. Oh, that's from Subspace. Okay. <laughs> they just had to include it. They had to include Subspace, of course. PT Piranha. That's right, Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, of course. and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Why would you do that? Just, just got why? A head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope. Wait, for the retail version, register for Gold Point. Well, wow. consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. Seriously? Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. I wanna get... I wanna get it on this so. I have an announcement for everyone well, watching this in North America. Fuck you then. Well, it's not a disc, it's a chip. You know, like a cartridge. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next. Give up! More. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... You sh you sneaky fucking prick, Sakurai. I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the subspace emissary. Thank God. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into... Okay, so it's just, um, like a story. I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Thank you. Yo, 
can't let a single one get away. <laughs> All right then. Kirby looks a bit poofy. Good boy. Sonic looks clean. That shine is nice. That's like <gasps> that's Brawl. That's Brawl's title screen. Bro, those master hands. What's that? Is that taboo? What's, What's that? Is that, that taboo? taboo? We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. That's, That's nice, nice how they, they got, got voice acting. I know we will. There's, There's a voice acting it this time. time. What? what? What is, is that? that? Quite a decent. Holy shit. Rip. Right. <laughs> 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 we get a fucking rip. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Why is that so funny? Good effort. <laughs> Dude. What is that? Ma <laughs> oh my god, they did snake day. <laughs> That that snake. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is hysterical. All right, so if you've never played Metal Gear, your main hiding strategy is to hide in a box. I <laughs> <laughs> like that's this. Why is this so funny? Why everyone turning into dust? This is some Mr. Stark shit. Why is this so funny? Like what? No, she just accepted fit. That looks beautiful, though. You can't let that little bastard escape. Well, obviously you're gonna let Kirby escape because you made his game. Who the hell's that? Oh, they're the assist trophy. Are they assist trophies? Where's that wasp? This is some gorgeous CGI. Smash Team. Whoa. Smash Team, make movies, you'll make profit. That's mad. Huh? So what the hell? Yeah, obviously you let your game creation character go. It has lyrics. <gasps> That's the the um, thing from Smash the, the Smash Four trailers where Mega Man got revealed. Okay. Just look at that! Oh my days! That is gorgeous! So there's a volcano, there's a bridge, probably Zelda. That looks like Angel Island a bit. That's kind of like Mushroom Hill, I guess. That's Fire Emblem, probably, in the left. What the hell is that? Oh. oh my god! Bro, that's fucking freaky. You can't even identify them either, apart from the front view. See Mega Man, Samus. Link. Holy shit. Wow. 
Shulk. Wow. This, her voice is beautiful. Holy shit. Like, that is how you sing, people. Shanta, okay. Wow. World of Light. And that's it. Wow, dude, that is hype. I'm talking about spirits, not 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 everything else. Look at that. It's just what the hell. We go from seeing our main game to this beautifully rendered CGI cutscene of all our fighters. Look at Snake as well. He's getting ready for that box. Just everyone just ready for battle. Next minute, you see some army of master and crazy hands and then whatever the fuck that is you know everyone tries to escape it which is funny for some reason there's some nice references involved though like um like my personal favorite not not the um, f0 one but come on show my favorite no, I'm not a big fan, but all right, that, that's that's funny. They're so fast. Come on, show show, show my boy. Yeah, <laughs> I just like how he tries for a box. So that was our our direct. So we got um, we only got three fighters technically: Ken, Incineroar, and fucking Piranha Plant. For fuck's sake. So I guess I can't complain about that because I didn't mind Ken and I. Didn't mind Inten or but the fact that you actually showed me Shadow as an assist trophy, despite we have Knuckles for an assist trophy now, you just you 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 made you made me cry, bro. Like just so much wasted like potential it. again. He is our fighter. Come on, so much wasted potential. I can't complain though. Hopefully the DLC season is going to be as as fantastic as it was in Smash Four, because Smash Four had a good DLC run. But other than that, that has been my reaction to Nintendo, or should I say Smash Bros. Direct, the 1st of November. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you're as excited as I am for Smash, and I'll see you all in the next video of mine. Take care, peace out, guys. I'm so fucking excited now. Oh, my day. I go. <laughs> <laughs> I killed all of them. I'm not my beer. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Better off to